Kieran in Malta, a country I have read good things about, but have never had the pleasure of going to. Anyway, Kieran writes, when a master analog tape is converted to DSD and then that DSD is either cut to vinyl or placed onto an SACD, will we consumers hear any meaningful differences between whether the DSD file worked on in the studio was DSD 64 or DSD 256 or any of the other iterations of DSD? Or are the benefits of using DSD 256 over 64 only useful to studios and create no discernible differences for consumers to the enjoyment of said track album? Whew, okay. <laughs> Well, I never. Okay, so, um, oh, I think I'm gonna sit down for this. It's been, I've been spending hours in the studio and my bones hurt. So, okay, first off, let's talk about DSD for a sec. The, the sweet spot for DSD is 128. So when you do DSD 64, which is single rate, some of the noise from DSD, from the process, the, the noise shifted up uh, from the one bit process, is still into the upper regions of the signal. Now, I mean, it sa still sounds a heck of a lot better than PCM always has. But once you double that from DSD 64, which is the, just so you know, when we say 64 FS or we say DSD 64, what we mean is it's running at a frequency, a sample rate frequency that is 64 times faster than everything that we base it on, which is the CD, okay? So if you multiply 44.1 or 44,000, cycles per second times 64, that is the speed, the sample rate, that single rate DSD is running at. So multiply 64 times 44.1 kilo, kilohertz, or just 44, 44,100 times 64 is 2.8 something million, okay? That's the sample rate that this one bit system on single rate DSD is running. DSD-128 is running at twice that. So multiply 128 times 44,100. Uh, 256, same thing, right? It's 256 times faster than the baseline, which is a CD at 44,100. Okay, now that we have that out of the way. So I've heard Gus make beautiful master recordings in 64FS, DSD-64, of analog masters from tape and they are gorgeous so to answer the question specifically i would have to say that when we're talking about pulling analog data from a bandwidth limited dynamic range limited capture method like analog tape or vinyl, there isn't any advantage that I'm aware of of using anything higher than 64 FS DSD except for that noise that we spoke about earlier. And that's getting into the purest thing. I gotta tell you, 64 FS remasters are glorious, beautiful. 128 FS would be slightly better. 256, probably not much of an advantage. Now, when you're recording something with full bandwidth, if, you're, if w you have great microphones, let's say, that are picking up everything in a recording session, then I'm gonna be an advocate for 256 DSD. Because in the studio, we definitely hear a difference from the live microphone feeds at DSD 256 versus 64, no question about it. But when you're talking about capturing the limited bandwidth on an analog tape, because there ain't a whole lot there, um, I think you're just fine with 64 FS and the sweet spot is 128 DSD.
Okay, thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.